Welcome to a brand new season of Made in Alberta. We're very excited to bring you more stories of Albertans who are working on our sustainable new energy future. If you consider that a well-built house really should last a hundred years, then um, anything you do in terms of when you're building that house will have a tremendous impact, not only financially but environmentally, for the lifetime of that house. Rob Harlan teaches people how to build and operate energy-efficient passive solar homes. I like to make the distinction between a passive solar house and a sun-tempered house. A passive solar house utilizes uh, solar heat as much as possible, often has thermal mass in it and uh, large le high levels of insulation. A sun-tempered house, on the other hand, would be a house that has a lot of solar features Usually none of these solar features that a sun-tempered house has are, uh, cost anything. They're simply design features in the house, simple common sense things that are done to the house that uh, will reduce its energy costs. I'm Gary Atchison. Uh, my wife and I were the general contractors for the building of this house in 1983, in part to demonstrate that for a cost very close to the cost of a conventional house, you can build a house twice as efficient. Your sun-tempered house needs a site with three characteristics. Well, first of all, it uh, allows you to face the house south. Second of all, you have solar access, which means there's no shading of that house on a year-round basis, primarily between 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock during the day. The house should be protected from the cold Alberta north winds with trees or other landscaping features. While designing the house itself, take full advantage of the solar resource on the south. Another uh, very low cost and common sense thing that can be done when you're designing the floor space of your house, which often isn't done, is um, orienting the house with um, its long part east-west and its north-south part shorter. And on the inside? Simply take the spaces that you're going to use a lot, like your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, uh, and put those on the south side where you have light and heat available. And uh, take the spaces that you're not going to use very much that can have an insulating factor for your house and put them on the north side. In passive solar design, the windows are a significant heat source. Overhangs of the right dimension allow our low winter sun to penetrate deep into the house while blocking the high summer sun. Gary and Cheryl Atchison joined the Solar Energy Society, Northern Alberta chapter, where they learned about passive solar and energy efficient house design. Through the things we learned in Solar Energy Society, actually, we got the nerve to think that we could build a better house, a substantially better house. Were they successful? Join us again when we hear more from the Atchisons, and Rob explains how to take your passive solar design to the next level of energy efficiency.